Akor genzi acha niulize. 2011, nini ilikuwe na kunyima usingizi? Unasikia ni kama utaki kuendelea na maisha? Ina kuchukua time mpaka kukumbuka ni nini ilikuwe na ninyima usingizi 2011? Yeah. <laughs> so katika problem kame kukumba mazee unataka mpaka sasa let me end it all. Ma- mazee imagine see a solution. Ju hizi vitu zo pita you forget about them yani hata inaacha kukua anything. So kitu yote unapitia mkurugenzi mazee usiwori. Usiwori it's a passing cloud it a pita and you will forget about it. Sawa tu anko. Species when the guys. Ya 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 ya. Hakuna kitu kingine ni twende guys. Headline Hitter Season 2 Kama K ukiona mkurugenzi in the building you just know He's got the juice man Mm-mm. For once leo nataka tu nianze story bila advert bila announcement nione ni nini itafanyika Let's just get right into it Ha wadao kuna story nimekumbushwa na business partner wangu anaitwa Robert Mureithi aka Bob. Nikajiuliza one year for one year mbona sijawahi kumbuka kupigiwa kurugenzi story? In fact, uh, here it goes. 2019 ikienda kuisha. Ama was it? no beginning of 2020 right before covid. Yeah? Yeah. Philip Karanja anapigiwa simu na jamaa. Anaambiwa ni aje buda, uh, mimi naitwa flani flani na nilikuwa na kabizi kidogo na nataka munipigie as a company muni, kuje muni rekodie unaonaje ni kitu mnaweza fanya ah feel like ya yeah, hiyo ndio kazi yetu mti yangu unatakaje ah sasa simka hivi ofisi ni wa brief e, kile mnafam do sawa so, ofisi iko pande gani iko hizo maeneo za Kiamburo duko ah even better my business partners Eh, Abel na Bob wana stay Kiamburu. In fact wako hapo the ndegwa. Eh, kufika kwako ni 5 minutes. Si, si ni wasukume hao wa come. Ah no, no problem. Wacha wa come. So Philip anatuvutia anaambia, "Eh, hey, Buda, kuna wasi wanawadai hapo Kiamburu kiasi. Eh, unaonaje mnaweza chungulia hivyo muziki form ni gani?" Ah, of course, sasa tuingie. Wacha tuende tusikize form ni gani. Tunaingia mita fulani pale inaitwa Ridgeways kwa mababi tunapita fika kwa gate fulani hapo boba ananiambia wao wow, buda unajua kuna time tulikuwa tunatafuta ofisi unakumbuka nikifanya reki ya kutafuta ofisi eh nilikamigi hapa kwa hii hao mazee ase rent ni 250 g's na lazima uingie na deposit nini so ndio tuhamie tu hapa mazee tungehitaji kitu kaso tano so sita wa yani hao watu wana twitter meeting hapa ndio walichukua ofisi yenyewe watu hapa hapa nje ni wazito So tukacheka tena story tukafika kwa gate soldier akafungua tukaingia ndani tukapata wale maraia tunakamkona wako kwa meeting kiasi so tukakaa hapo nje eh hey, chuki mzee hey, mama gari safi safi hapo kwa parking eh hey, iko tu sawa so kidogo kidogo mzee wakatoka eh, one of the guys akakama katusalimia fiti sana ah ni aje we nakujua beli mambo vipi uko fiti msukuma msukuma hapo sawa man ingia ni ndani kamini tu tupige gumzo kiasi So tunaingia ndani uh, no actually tuli tuli hapo nje kuna kanini kafiti ameka ka bench hapo ina katupo so tuka tuli hapo nje mazee na notebook zetu tunataka tuchukue brief tujue hapa eh huh? tunaingiza muku tu akatuambia mazee so eh hey, buda wadao nimekaa nikafikiria niko na jo kuna kitu yanifurahisha hapa nje spend vile farmers wanaumia wakulima wanaumizwa hapa nje mazee wana au ndio wana do all the donkey work alafu mazee tunanunua pesa yao nini produce zao bei ya ufala tunaenda tunaiuza huko mazee at triple the cost ule msi anafaa kuwa anaishi fiti ndio ana struggle ah 
nikasikia convo kwanza imeniingia juu wakurugenzi tumeongea story na nyinyi several mnajua vile mko passionate juu ya mazee producers wasaidike whether we ni mkulima whether we ni msanii as long as unafanya kazi ku produce kitu we unafaa usaidike si story ya middleman kwenda kukula kila kitu na hata ajui the first thing about farming so of course we were very excited maze akatuambia eh hey, maze imebidi mimi na mabro wangu tu, tufanye kitu kama hii tu, 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 actually kitu walikuwa wamedu walikuwa wame create a system where farmers wakisha produce wana set kwa hiyo wacha ni it up for now then Uh, consumers zama uh, wholesalers wana get hizi vitu kutoka kwa farmer directly so unaona hapo hivyo farmer kuna ka negotiating power kidogo azina anaweza pata kitu fiti kuliko kukuwe na mtu katikati wa kumlink yeye na ah yo so tukona hii ni nini kali jo so ndio akatuambia mazeni tumeamua kuidu sina ma bro at least bana hata ndio tusafishe jina jo after imechafuliwa nini ah jina yenu imechafuliwa na nani na, nani amewachafulia jina kwani nyinyi ni kina nani jamaa anatuangalia na shindwa ah <laughs> ah guys <laughs> wait tumepiga story hapa for like 35 minutes am uh, am just to recognize sure kabisa kabisa am jim naongea na kina nani sasa na shindwa ai zura mi Mm. Si jamai kuona. Ah, bro. KCB. KCB. We, we Bob Bob we uko na account KCB. Is sura unaijua? Guys, KCB thika. Ah, thika hiyo atuwezi jua. We, we ushaenda hata hiyo branch ya Miss Jawai. Na pitanga tu hapo nje ya KCB thika but sijui. Ah, wakaona yenyewe hizi ndogo mozi azishikanishi. Guys. Tunnel KCB thika. Wacha wacha <laughs> Ni nini? Nini ndio mlichimba tunnel thika mkaingia KCB mkaiba 55 million. Aiwe cheza cheza chini man. Unachoma. <laughs> What? Muko nje aje? Mimi na wadi muko mnapa kwa ndani muko nje aje. Ah maloya ni nini? Ya yeah, ya yeah, yeah. tuwezi kosana na serikali. Tajua vile tutakacheza. What? Ah Ah. <laughs> ah, for real for real for real for real ni nyinyi muli Okay, najua walisema nyinyi kabisa muli chimba tunnel mkaingia kwa vault. Akatuangalia ka smile, katuambia waze looking forward to doing business with you guys. Si tutaongea. Babe. Akatuacha hapo maze tunajiuliza, bra. Bra. Baka tuka call filo, buda. Unajua umetuleta kwa kina nani wewe? Unakumbuka ile mbo Buda. <laughs> ni tunachapia filo story hata wame miss kujua walini call tu wakaniambia eh hey, tunajua production house yako ndio tunataka utufanyie ki, kitu. <sighs> But ali feature white hapa mwisho. So aku 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 jibu kabisa kama ukweli 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 au ndio alichimba na by then nilienda mpaka kwa gazeti nikaangalia nikaona it is them. Wakiwa kuna picha fulani wako pale kwa doc na mahudi wengine wana try kujificha ficha wa line yao man. Ah. Hii usanii tatukutanisha na watu wengi. But wadao. Hii ilikuwa heist ya pale thika KCB. Sasa kuna the original tunnel heist ambayo ili happen wapi? Brazil. August tarehe 8, 2005. Manager wa one of the branches ya the Central Bank of Brazil anaingia wapi? Kwa bank yake. Kuingia pale anasikia hapana kuna kitu inanuka moshi hapa na shindwa ni nini hiyo. So anapiga piga upekuzi ana discover hii hii kitu inatoka huko kwa vault. Anasema we nifungulie ni vault hapa. Nasikia ni kama kuna nuka moshi tunaweza fungua tupate pesa yetu inachomeka hapa maze. So vault inafunguliwa. Lo and behold, right in the middle of the vault wanapata shimo. Wa! Wanachungulia huko. Hello, anasikia tu echo. Hello, hello, hello. Echo. It's a whole tunnel pesa ilikuwa imewekelewa pale totaling to 70 million dollars the thing weighed 3.5 tons gone wadao kula pause hapo wacha niwarudishe nyuma to four months eh, before this day wakati sasa the original planning ya the tunnel heist of brazil ilianza 
March 2000 eh yes March 2005 Jamaa amekaa chini akaona nataka niomoke na hii Central Bank ya Brazil. Hii banki itantambua. Eh, so the first thing anafanya ni nini? Ni kupiga research. Eh, eh what happens when? Okay. Okay. Ah, aha. He discovers that in August, especially hiyo wiki ya kwanza, the state waga ina collect all the old bank notes zinapeleka wapi central bank zikifika central bank wanafanya kitu inaitwa sorting wana sort wanaangalia hii noti ni mzee ni mzee design nimechapa kabisa kabisa iweke kando nyingine ni mzee lakini bado inaweza endelea endelea rudisha kwa circulation so zile zenye ni mzee kabisa kabisa zimefika mwisho zinaenda zinacho zinachomwa hizi zingine zinarudishwa circulation so who mastermind asha piga sababu yake akajua august ndio hizi vitu waga zina collectiwa zinaeko pale kwa vault ni fiti kuchangamka na hizi old notes sababu first of all si zote zimechapa designers zitatumika zingine ziko in good working condition so hiyo ni pesa mzuri number two, pesa mzee serial number mazee hazijafuatana pesa mpya wacha nikwambie ukiingia kwa bank uibe pesa mpya ni rahisi ushikwe sababu hizo serial number so waga zimefuatana so wanazitrack tu wanaona ah serial number ee ni nini nini ilitumika kwa mpesa shop sio kimao inugu iko huko so ni rahisi sana ushikwe hizi old notes serial numbers ziko all over the place ni old notes zimetolewa kwa mifuko za wasee zimeletwa kwa bank so ikakuwa sasa sawa hivi ndio tunakacheza second order of business siezi piga hii mradi kama hii peke yangu nahitaji mbogi nahitaji kikosi so wacha nipige audition yangu matata So mastermind anaenda anachagua jamaa fulani anakuwa number two in command. Ye kazi yake tu ni kuangalia operations. Operations zikuwa ziko sawa. Anaenda anachagua engineer mwenye akona skill ya tunneling anamleta on board. Anaenda anatafuta foreman mwenye ameiva kazi ya kuchunga site, anajua ku run site. Ndio wakati kazi inafanywa anapanga workers. Ni unajua una need foreman kukupangia workers wako vizuri. So anapata foreman deadly sana. Number five, anaenda ana knife now one of the employees of the security company ambayo ilikuwa ina guard he bank. Huyo employee anaenda anampatia blueprint ya e bank vile inakaa vault iko wapi located wapi unafaa we access kutoka pande gani nini ni, uta encounter nini before ufikie vault kila kitu anampatia anamwambia niaje wewe ukishakafunga unanipiga eh, ka percentage gangu sasa sawa sasa sawa sorted of course the rest of the people ilikuwa ni watu wa mkono wa kufanya the actual digging hiyo tunneling so eventually we end up karibu jeshi ya mtukaa 15 hapo aya hiyo business ya pili tushamaliza so number three ni nini ni kuanza kazi so wanakamu wanapiga kitu moja mufti sana genius right across from the bank as in bank ndio hii unavuka a very busy road hapa wanaenda wana establish wana rent ka area. Hii area wanasema ni kampuni ya kufanya nini? Landscaping. Na mahali kuna landscaping, of course kuna mchanga mchanga iko pale inatolewa tolewa ya kufanya fanya maflowers na nini na nini. Ni wajanja sana. So right up next wanaenda wanafungua company ya landscaping, wananunua mpaka gari, wanazi brand hii company ya landscaping kila kitu, wananunua mpaka lori ya mchanga, as in aso walikuwa wamejipanga deadly mufti. Wana get, wale wasewa kuchimba wale sasa wasekaa 10 15 hao. Wanapigishwa ma uniform wanakani kama hao ni staff wa pale. Hiyo inakuwa sawa. Hii kampuni ina need secretary wa kuirana hapo hapa na pale. Wanadu nini? Huyu jamaa sasa the mastermind anaenda kwa sister yake anachukua husband ya the sister anamleta wapi pale job anamwambia wewe kazi yako ni kukuwa secretary kwa hii kampuni run run ma operations tu hapa but they don't tell him that actually the reason why hiyo kampuni ni exist ni juu wana chimba tunnel in one of the rooms right down kwa ground take take under the highway mpaka kwa branch ya central bank the other side of the road huyu secretary ajui So yeye yeah, anakuja kazi kama kawa akijua anafanya kazi kwa a landscaping company. Haya. Tunneling inaanza. 
Of course along the way wana discover maze kuna problems sababu Brazil maze hizo vile wamefanya hizo ma infrastructure za utilities maji stima nini zinazo zimepita chini haikuwa uh, planned fit sana so lazima wangekuwa very careful meticulous wasigonge kitu wafai kugonga jo hebu imagine uhit hapo pipe ya gas ama uhit pipe, pipe ya maji si wakikuja ku repair watashangaa mlikuwa mnachimba nini huku ina meza share so wali hey, engineer ali come through hapo mbaya sana na surveyor na nini kila kitu so wakachimba tunnel vizuri kaenda sijui ni kama mita 4 ama mita 8 chini then 30 meters huko tukienda sana mpaka wapi kwa bank kule so every day wanakujanga wanaingia kwa entrance ya hii kampuni yao si kampuni tuseme ni nyumba kama hii unaingia kwa entrance then unaenda kwa one of the rooms pale ukifungua hiyo room utoe kambao fulani kako kwa floor he ndani ni tunnel wasa wanachimba kuna secretary amekaa pale mwanaume ana habari ni watu wanachimbaga vitu huku yako hapo anafikiria yeye ana run biashara ya landscaping but one ananza ku notice wait kwa nini watu wana, wanaingia kwa hii room wanatoka wakiwa wachafu na wako na gunia za mchanga sio hiyo kitu ina siku moja akauliza jama moja akitoka eh hey, bro acha nikuulize kwa nini kwa hiyo room mnaingiaga kuna koga na nini naona wasa wanaingia wanatoka na mchanga kibao ni nini nini Jamaa akamwambia wewe tulia wewe fanya kazi yako ya usekia hapo e, wachana na kazi yetu kila mtu ashughulike na mambo yake na jamaa akaenda akalod mchanga kwa lori ni nini ni, na wasa waka biashara ikaendelea kama kawa but maze curiosity got the best of him mzee alikuwa anangoja tu mzee si hawa wafunge kazi niingie kwa hiyo room nione ni nini hiyo inakuaga huko na mbona uaga napatiwa restrictions za kuenda kwa hiyo maeneo So akangojea maze e, wasao wakafunga kazi wakafunga mlango kama kaa na wakaishia. Kumbe mjamaa alikuwa na kakopi ka hiyo mlango kakifunguo akaenda akafungua room. Akaingia ndani ya room right in the middle of the floor anapata shimo. Wow. So of course curiosity akaingia ndani ya shimo. Anafika chini anapata sasa imeacha kwenda chini inaenda hivi. Akafuata tunnel wewe karibu mita mbao. Anaenda tu well well constructed wamepiga reinforcement na mbao wamepiga lighting wamesukuma mpaka wires za telecommunications as in bra engineering ilikuwa imeingia hapo si mchezo so maze ako hapo ako in disbelief ako in shock ana should wait a minute ani wasa gani nafanyia kazi brother yangu in law ako niambia kuna operation bigi kama hii inaendelea hapa So maze ako huko chini alafu najua tunnel sasa nyingine wa gaina kama na kwa dark mali mataa ziko so akaingia kwa phone kwa mfuko akatoa simu awashe nini torch ndio aendelee kuangalia in the process ya kutoa simu akaangusha business card hakujua akaendelea ku, kuangalia survey anapiga surveillance huko akapiga surveillance akaangalia akaona wa ah, watu ni ngori hii lazima niulize mimi sitaki kukuwa part of a crime syndicate i don't want So akarudi akapanda nini yake akatokea kwa ile room akafungua mlango akafunga vizuri na akaenda mtaa The following day Master Mind anaingia hivi na kuangalia vile mbogi na sukuma kazi akamuita kano akamwambia hey bro in law wewe ni mtu unaweza taka kunipeana haki sababu bro nje sana shindo kiaje uliniambia tunakuja kufanya kazi ya kufanya landscaping Ukuniambia huko kuna room unachimba tunnel na nimeangalia hiyo tunnel inaenda na vile inaenda spendelei inaenda kwa ile bank pale na unajua hiyo ni bank ya serikali wewe form ni gani sababu mimi mimi kusema ukweli wacha nikuambie tu leo mimi sifanyi hii kitu yenu e, najua ni criminal i don't want to be part of it sababu vitu kama hizi zinafanyaga watu wana a... unasema nikae kwangu tu na nisikusumbue sawa niweke tu kwa kiti sita kusumbua yeah that is what happened aliyekea tu bunduki kwa kichwa akatii akasema haina mambo in fact continue with your work kazi nzuri sana pongezi akarudi kwa kiti yake na akaendelea na biashara as usual kulikuwa na deadline kumbuka hii tunnel ilianza kuchimbwa march tarehe 5 agosti 2005 tunafaa kwa tumeingia ndani ya vault sababu hiyo window ikitupita hizo pesa zitasotiwa na tutakuwa tumefanya kazi ya bure so by 8th no by 5th of march sorry by 5th of august lazima tukue tumefikisha tunnel the other side kazi inapigwa kupigwa wadau a day before d day tunnel ilikuwa isha kwa complete walikuwa wanangoja tu tarehe 5 ifike 
watoboe kale kanini hapa chini itokee hapa ako tu ndio kalikuwa kamebaki na tarehe 5 ikafika drill ikapitishwa hapo wakakata nini vizuri waka drain hiyo mawe yote imetoka sasa nafanya hivi juu lakini juu wako chini ni hii floor wanachimba ikatolewa floor vizuri na wakapanda juu lo and behold right in front of the eye, their eyes was three tons worth of money wadau three tons ni actually ni 3.5 tons ni 3500 kgs of money buda unajua unafak ni, ni how much unaweza kuwa nayo ndio ikwe i, i total to 3.5 tons so hapo kulikuwa na pesa taslimu milioni dolari milioni sabini 700 million dollars no 70 million dollars in brazilian money in it hii pesa ya brazil inanishinda hiyo jira ni 160 million walifagia walibeba kubeba living knows we kufagia kufagia so wakapiga hiyo kazi it was on a friday tarehe tano. saturday hakuna mtu anaingia bank sababu ni bank ya serikali wanafanya kazi monday to friday Sunday hakuna mtu anaingia bank. Eh ni siku ya kutulia nini. Monday ndio manager akiingia anasikia arufu ya moshi kuchomeka. Kumbe ni ile nini ya kukata chuma. Unajua ile blow torch. Ndio imekuwa ikichoma huko vitu nini nini. Wanaingia kwa bank wanapata vault cleared. So report ikapigwa. Investigation zikaanza. Majamaa as maskari first order of business ni nini si ni kuingia kwa hii shimo na kuifuata tuone itatokelezea wapi wanapiga mguu 30 meters kabla wafike tu mwisho wanakutana na nini kwa barabara wadau wanakutana na business card ile iliangushwa na ule jamaa wakati alikuwa anatoa simu awashe torch angalie tunnel wanachukua business card wanapata ni ya nani ni yake huyo huyo mtu brother in law alikuwa ameandikwa hapo akuwe secretary ni business card yake imeanguka so wanaichukua wanaiweka fiti but they are not quick to arrest him sababu wakienda wakimchukua si of course ataalat wenzake itakuwa ni ngori so wanampiga surveillance deadly wanamtrail wana tap simu zake zote wasikie kama itawali tu au majamaa mastermind wameshapata wame pesa wameenda sasa imekuwa ni siku ya kugawana tunataka tugawane hii mali Tuko na 70 million iko hapa. Watu tumefanya kazi hapa ni wangapi? Tuseme ni watu I'm assuming it's around 15. So kiungwana kama tuko watu 15 na tuko na 70 million hapa inamaanisha tunafaa tugawane at least kila mtu milioni 4 na kitu. At least. Basta maenda kaambia hiyo ni yenu. Na wapatia 1 million ya ya Brazil hata si dollars. 1 million ya Brazil kila mtu kila mtu hii ingine inabaki ni yangu mimi ndio mwenye idea mimi ndio nilipanga kila kitu kama sio mimi amngekuwa na hii pesa clearly there's no honor among thieves so jamaa moja hapa alikuwa kwa kikosi akaona hapana huwezi tuambia hivyo sisi ndio tumefanya donkey wa hapa bana tumechimba tunnel mzima alafu nataka kutuambia na ukwende huko tupatie pesa yetu vile inafaa <laughs> bunduki ilitolewa tu pa pa jamaa akazimwa akauliza e, kuna mwingine ako na malilio e, any complaints guys oh, mko sawa mko sawa oh my god Ana, na hata naangalia hivi naona yenyewe mko sawa kabisa hata amkai ni kama mwanamke struggle kila mtu wa kule milioni yake akienda akienda akawapatia akachukua hiyo wengine yote akaenda nayo the guy ni mjanja sana hii city eh, ambayo mali bank iko ni city inaitwa Sierra Sierra iko mahali huko Brazil Rio de Janeiro ndio capital akaenda akachukua gari akazipandisha zile trailer za kusafirisha magari alafu kwa boot akaweka kama milioni mbili hivi ya pesa yao ya Brazil akasukuma Rio so hiyo trailer ikiintercepttiwa Rio unajua ilifanya makarao akaona ah wale waswali iba bank wako Rio tume intercept truck imekuja Rio na hiyo pesa kumbe ni vako ilikuwa ni system ya ku divert eh, ngori haya number 2 kwa hii squad ya watu watu walipiga heist Makarao kakamo kagundua one of the guys hapo is actually a police officer ni vile i think alikuwa retired or something a police officer so alienda wakamshika tu vizuri wakamwambia niache buda kam kam unajua wewe ni mtu wetu at the end of the day 
wewe ni mtu wetu na tuwezi taka wengi kwa ngori hao wase wengine juu wanaingia kwa ngori mbaya do hivi wewe tuambie tu wase ni kina nani juu wewe ni karao kama sisi tutakotoa kwa ngori wewe unaonaje chukua hiyo deal buda juu ukiamua kucheza mbaya unajua tumekuwa tukitrailer wase tunaojua karibu wote utaingia kwa ngori na utaenda ndani for very long Jamaa kapiga sabu akaona uongo mbaya. Siwezi enda. Ah, aliwasema wote. Hii huyu wote akawataja. Haya, makosa ingine ilifanyika. Eh, two weeks. Was it two weeks? Two weeks before tunnel ichimbwe. Uh, no, before tunnel ingie kwa vault. Ule jamaa wa security mwenye alipatiana blueprint ya area yote, wakanegotiate mpaka bay nini kila kitu, ali resign. <laughs> Who does that? Una resign unaenda wapi? Unakaanga hapo kwanza unajifanya uko very shocked. Oh, oh my god, unaweza kufanya kitu kama hii? Oh my god, na unajua ni wewe. Sasa ukienda macho zetu zote zitakuwa kwako. Mbona ume resign two weeks before? Ni nini hiyo ulikuwa unajua sisi hatujui? Goes without saying ali shikwa shikwa kidogo tu akafungua kayamba. Akasema hao watu walinilipa si uongo. Ya na pesa hata iko ndio hii. Ikachukuliwa. So now kuna jamaa alikuwa ofisa ako pale ameshaamua kukoperate na maofisa wenzake kuna ule jamaa e, ambaye alikuwa security amenaswa ameamua kukoperate walipata business card ya ule jamaa ambaye alikuwa ni secretary sasa sasa hii it is an opportune time kumkamata sasa kuja hapa wewe tuambie ukweli nini ilikuwa inaendelea hapa akafungua kayamba akasema ukweli kabisa mimi walinileta hapa ni kwe secretary wa hii kampuni katikati ya biashara na gundua kuna tunnel nikajaribu kupiga nduru wakaniwekea bunduki kwa kichwa kama ni wewe ungefanya nini ilibidi ninyamaze tu hapo sababu wangenimaliza huyu jamaa mnamjua is a criminal wangenifanya mbaya so me me I, i did not want to be part of this in fact hata pesa yao sikuchukua stack stack so akona okay sasa wewe kile utatufanyia utatusaidia si bado wanajua wewe ni mmoja wao eh hey, hey, kabisa haya meeting next mkiitwa tuambie sasawa sasawa so makarao ni wajanja walienda si washashikanisha watu wawili watatu wenye walikuwa kwa hii kitu walienda wakawashika ngeta na wakawanyonga hii ni biashara inafanywa na polisi wakashika mara yao wakawanyonga juu walijua tukinyonga hawa watu wawili hii ripoti itafika kwa na itasumbua hawa watu so of course wao majamaa wakaenda wakaambia mastermind na isco nyingine ni aje wadau mazee kuna kitu sijapendelea hapa hivi katikati yetu kuna msema anatupeana nimenyongwa na thegi bana wamechukua pesa yangu hata mimi bana wamenyongwa wamechukua pesa yangu bana so ikasemekana ah basi tukutaneni tuongee tujue ni nani anatufanya anatufanya mbaya <laughs> tukutaneni sisi wote wakakutana wote vizuri kumbe ule jamaa mwenye ndio alikuwa secretary pale amepigwa ile kitu pale wire tap na kila kitu yani ako tu sawa yeye hey, ako kazi So majamaa wakakutana mahali kwa kibasement nini ndio wa discuss okay mbona vitu zinaenda hivi hivi fani fani sisi ni watu tuko na pesa tunafaa kwa tunaishi the life what is happening wakiwa katikati tu hiyo mkutano kuboom makarao ndio wao wameingia kila mtu chini 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 uwekwa pingu wewe very fast ingizwa kwa Mariamu tolewa mbio twende sana tukizidi So majamaa wakakuwa arrested wakaenda wakajaribu waka seize kila property yenye inaweza kuwa iko affiliated na hii pesa ilipotea believe it or not wadau out of the 70 million dollars waliweza ku salvage only a quarter of it a little shy of 18 million dollars hiyo ingine ilipotea yote but what i am certain is kuna mtu anatumikia kifungo yake vizuri sana bila pressure bila pressure Anajua atatoka nje after 25 years atusumbue hii town sababu hiyo pesa iko mahali iko mahali imetulia i am certain inakuwa aje mnakula milioni sabini mnamaliza na wiki haiwezi haiwezi hiyo pesa imefichwa mahali wanangojea tu yeah so hiyo story wa dao sana sana sitaki kusema niko sure but sana sana that brazilian story inspired my friends kwenda thika kuwafanya ile kitu. Jamaa alikataa kuniambia kadhaa for sure for sure ni hawa alichimba hiyo tunnel lakini nitamtafuta tu nimbaye kahawa. Na njoo atanipigia story vizuri. Ya. Yeah. Tunafungia maneno hapo. Nashukuru sana. Kama imekubamba ita marafiki wakuja wafanye ile mambo. Na of course, of course. Msikubali mkuru aende achimbe tunnel. No, no, no. Mweke ni kidogo kidogo hapa. Acha hizo mafikra mbaya. Ya. Yeah. Sasa wadau 
na watambua sana muwe na weekend monana tuonane next week to fry au sio adios muchachos peace eni alia ni kuenda kuenda leo hata msingoje ati oh ni hapa today is going never be a feel ni kuata sana tunatoka tunaenda